So I'm going to show you guys how to install a dual battery kit, do it yourself in a 2007 FJ Cruiser. Here's the parts I bought for my dual battery kit. I've got the, the solenoid here, basically a heavy duty relay. I've got the, the ends here, which I'll have to attach to the number four wire. And I had the, the batter, local battery store attach the leads here. I, I wanted something more permanent than anything that was crimped on. And uh, he threw in some shrink tube for me. And uh, I bought some uh, flex tubing here to make sure I protect the positive. Here's the brand of the relay I ended up buying. Just a heavy duty switch. It should do the trick. And I ended up having to buy a El Cheapo fuse holder. Here's the house battery. You can see I've already got a accessories hooked to it. Of course it's temporary because I knew I was going to be hooking up to this guy. And I just installed this. It's a Group 24. Just got a regular old Group 24 battery tray, and uh, just got the tie downs for it. And uh, I basically just had to fab uh, a little bracket underneath it. There's an aluminum kind of a C-shaped bracket in the back. The fender well curves downward, so I had to compensate for that. This bolt's bolted directly too. Had to drill a hole there. Had to drill a hole here, and the. Uh, I've got basically a bolt that comes up and a washer and a double nut and a washer and that's how I compensated for this space right here. Actually it was very easy. It took me probably half an hour to, to fab that up. Not going to go into detail on that. Uh, positive leads here, grounds here. I'm going to run the positive lead up here and around. I'm going to install the relay right here and the fuse. We're going to hook into the positive here. The ground strap's going to come off of here come down around and I'm gonna hook to the motor mount bracket right down there is the most accessible frame mount. I think it'll probably be the best ground for my application. So here in the fender, I want to install the relay right here. And fits right over the top of those two holes. So I'm gonna have to figure out what these are threaded probably six millimeter by the bolts. That's where it's going to be installed. Now I shrink tube this one. Shrink tube starts out pretty big. I mean it's to give you an idea how big it is. But it swells up and it has like a sealer on the inside of it, that glossy. And it seals up real nice. Keeps everything out. Of course you can't use you know, a cigarette lighter to do it, you gotta you gotta use an actual torch, but gets the job done. So here's my fuse. Run the welding cable through the existing rubber grommet here and hooked her up to the battery. So I got the motor mount bolt out. See the hole down there. Now I just got some, some sandpaper and I'm just cleaning up that motor mount. See it's pretty shined up now. That's where I'm going to hook it. The negative to. Well there it is hooked up. Comes right up here to the top. Right around. Right on the battery post. Piece of cake that uh, wasn't on very tight. I just end up using a 14 millimeter and I actually just took it off with a gear wrench. It wasn't on very tight at all. Uh, really easy. No problem. It's all installed and working. Got the ham radio cable moved across there. I've got all the all the welding cable hooked up. The welding cable's hidden in here. I got this uh, the ground grounded to the frame down there. Everything's working when I start the rig. I got 14 volts over here. Right now we're sitting with 12 with it off. And uh, I use an add a circuit in the fuel, fuse block to hook a power up here. It doesn't matter which one you hook to, just one has to go to ground. Ground, we got over here for the ground. You turn the key, 12 volts here, that pops the relay. 
Got a 40 amp fuse here. Got the welding cable hooked to the battery. Uh, really easy install. It's going to be very helpful for uh, running more radios in the rig. I've got got those up there. And here the, here's how the add a circuit works. I've got the the dual battery relays hooked to here. This one comes on and off. And then right here I've got a I've got my Garmin hooked into an another 12 volt cigarette adapter. And I've got it daisy chained into the fuse box here. So it turns my Nuvi on and off up there. Pretty happy with the install. Piece of cake. Uh, anybody can do it.